Hey guys, Justin from Extreme. Today we're working on an E4OD. Uh, this applies to 4R100 as well. Let me show you what we're working on. We have the accumulator body of an E4OD or 4R100. If we look at Transco's instructions, they furnish a steel regulator valve one in every single kit when you buy a shift kit from them. And if you buy the E4-VL-LR3, you get three of these steel line regulator valves. Which means if you buy one kit and you buy a shift kit, you're always going to have one left over. So that happens to me all the time. So I have two left over. I have one in the kit that I can use. So I have a total of three without having to open this box. Point being is that I change all three of them in every single one because these accumulator bodies have so much trouble with sticking valves. And that's what I want to show you next. So if you take a look right here, I've put a steel regulator valve in place. What is important, and it's going to seem kind of silly, guys, but if you shake this, that is one way. You want to make sure that that valve is extremely free. The other thing that you can do is I use like a long spoon. And we want to make sure that that valve moves in the bore as freely as humanly possible. If for any reason one of them got stuck, it's not going to make the gear shift. One, two, two, three, three, four, whatever it might be. So keep an eye on them. Make sure that that valve moves free. The steel valves work entirely way better than the stock aluminum valve. Have a good day, guys.